What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Nessus on Kali Linux. And we will be installing Nessus, which is our vulnerability scanner. Nessus is the most used vulnerability scanner out there. People like to scan for vulnerabilities in their systems to make sure that they are safe, to make sure that they know what's out there in their environment. And in our video, we will be installing Nessus in our Kali Linux. And as you can see, this is our lab that we have set up before. This is our Kali machine, and we are running PFSense. After um, our installation, we'll scan our Metasploitable machine. So let's go ahead and uh, start it right here. If you have questions about how to set up this lab, I have a link in the description. It's very simple to set up. You'll be done in a, under an hour if you have the right machine. So let's go ahead and start the installation of Nessus on our Kali machine. So as you can see, this is our Kali Linux machine. Like we said, we just need to launch. Um, you just need to launch our Firefox in Kali. Right now we're in our Kali machine, and search for Nessus Essentials, which is uh, previously known as Nessus Home. So just say Nessus. Essentials. First result from your search should be the same result that we can use. As you can see right here. From here, you need to make sure that you sign in and register with your username, I mean, first name, last name, and a valid email address. You're going to need an email address because they'll send you an activation code. So this is something you have to do to make sure that you get your license and actually uh, get it working. So I, I went ahead, signed in with my first name, last name here, and my email address, and they, w they went ahead and sent me a license. So this is my license code right here. So once you do that, you can go ahead then and click from your email and download. And also you can follow the ins installation guide right here. As you can see, it will take you to instructions on how to install Nessus. So Nessus on Linux, like we are doing, just go ahead and say install on Linux. And the instructions are very simple. We are installing in Kali, so our instructions will be the Debian one. And this is the command that we're going to need. So on, on our instructions on how to install Nessus on Linux, we learned that we can run dpkg and just literally just run the Nessus version of it. So let's just copy that command, it's dpkg, that Nessus dash um, 8 point, and autocomplete should work here. Then go ahead and hit enter. After that, it will go ahead and uh, run the whole Nessus um, installation for you. So after dpkg is done running, the first thing that we need to do is start the service and it gives us the con command right here. So this is copy and paste it. So our Nessus service is starting. After that, we need to go to localhost at port 8834 and start the service. So now if we go here, so this should uh, get us there. So this is initializing our Nessus installation. Right now it's compiling the plugins. Just give it some time to do this process. And when it's done, we'll continue with our installation. This step took a long time to complete, almost an hour and a half. But after we're done, we sign in with our user that we created in the previous step. Sys admin. In the password that you would have created. Signed in, we need to create a scan, but as you can see, we have all these other options. Um, we're going to scan our metasploitable system, so let's just do a new scan. You can do a basic scan, or these other scans, as you can see here. If you pay for more, you can get more uh, complicated scans, like this one over here for auditing. But we're just going to do an advanced scan. 
because we want to scan one system only. So the name is a uh, new test portable to scan description. We can say one. Of course, I want to save it in my. Then um, we need to specify the target. Uh, so let's minimize this <laughs> and go back to our um, Metasploitable 2. We just want to find out what the IP address for this machine is so we can specify the target IP. So if you're doing IPA, we see that our IP address is 10.10.10.18 on ETH0. So going back to Kali, and we just type in the target 10.10.10.18, and hit save. So we expect to see a lot of vulnerabilities since Metasploitable is very vulnerable. So you just come back here, check that and hit launch this will start the scan so we expect this to run for a few minutes and i'll be back after it's done okay so it looks like our scan is finished and let's click on it see what we found from made exploitable and as you can see we found critical nine high is five and medium is 24 then we have low which is 8 and we have info 133 so let's just go ahead through and uh, look at our results quickly what are the highs as you can see <laughs> this is uh, what Mesa exploitable has these are all the vulnerabilities that we found we have multiple issues on most of these so as you can see http multiple issues dns multiple issues let's look at ssh weak algorithm supported uh, as you can see let's find out what that is and this is very detailed it tells us exactly what uh, the vulnerabilities is and tells us that we, uh, we advise against using this and so this is very helpful as you can see these are the description and there is even a solution in this case they're suggesting contacting the vendor so nessus is very helpful for actually looking at different vulnerabilities in your systems and actually understanding what they are it makes it very simple if we look at all these vulnerabilities here you would see that uh, later in the series I'll be showing you how to exploit some of them, but if you just look at all these, it's just amazing how uh, Nessus has uh, the ability to show you what, 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 what we have here. So as you can see, these are all the vulnerabilities. So that's it for this video. I just want to show you how to install Nessus in Kali Linux and also how to run a vulnerability scan. This one took nine, nine minutes. And as you can see, we can see a lot of vulnerabilities that we have here that we hope that uh, if you're in a real production system, you can actually remediate. If you're doing penetration testing, you can include this as part of your report for your client. So that's it for this video. In the next videos, we'll, be, we'll keep on learning about IT security. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.